The primary movers of the front squat are the gluteus maximus, the semimembranosus, semitendinosus, biceps femoris, vastus lateralis, vastus intermedius, vastus medialis, and rectus femoris. In the starting position, the athlete steps under the bar and positions their feet parallel to each other. For the first hold, which is the parallel arm position, the athlete grasps the bar with a closed pronated grip. The grip should be slightly wider than shoulder width. Move up to the bar to place it on top of the anterior deltoids and clavicles and fully flex the elbows to position the upper arms parallel to the floor. The second grip is the crossed arm position. With this, flex the elbows and cross the arms in the front of the chest, move up to the bar to place it on top of the anterior deltoids. Use an open grip with the hands on top of the bar and the fingers holding it in place and lift the elbows to position the arms parallel to the floor. On the downward portion phase, the athlete should maintain a position with a flat back, elbows high and chest up and out, allowing the hips and knees to slowly flex while keeping the torso to floor angle relatively constant. It's important to keep the heels on the floor and the knees aligned over the feet and not to flex the torso forward or around the back. A couple common mistakes that are seen with athletes who are trying to perform a front squat. The first one is going to be the arching of the back on the upward portion of the movement. Normally, the back should stay flat. One cue to fix this is to tell the athlete to pretend that they're doing a wall sit with their back sliding up against the wall. This will ensure that their chest stays up and that they're trying to keep their back nice and straight. The second mistake that athletes make when front squatting is allowing their knees to cave. It's important on the upward portion to make sure that the, knee, uh, the knees um, lead right over the toes and do not cave in. One cue to help the athletes with this problem is to, pretend, to tell them to pretend as if they have a band or give them a band that is placed right above the knees in order to focus on keeping their knees from caving in and gliding right over their toes on the way up. The last mistake we will be covering is not having the arms parallel to the ground and allowing uh, the bar to sit way too low and not be on the anterior deltoids. This creates the issue of an arching back. One cue to, think, to help with this is to think of the arm position as if it is the end range motion of a forward uh, dumbbell raise where the arms are parallel to the ground. This will give an athlete a nice image of where their arms should be.